now this uh, lecture 11 on conditional distribution for the continuous case so conditional distribution for the continuous case uh, actually this is also true for uh, discrete case also that uh, definition is true for the uh, the discrete also the definition is like that so the conditional distribution so distribution function of distribution a df the distribution function of some random vector uh, random vector x given at some point y equal to y is defined as a limit so limit epsilon tends to 0 plus the probability of x less than or equal to x given that y belongs to that y minus epsilon to y plus x. If it is a uh, discrete case then this is actually y equal to y. For discrete case uh, because this limit uh, actually for the discrete case uh, so every point are discrete so in if y minus epsilon or y plus epsilon, if y epsilon tends to zero plus, then it is just a single term set y. Uh, pro, uh, obviously, provided the limit exists, given that the provided provided the limit exists, that limit exists. Now, if this limit exists, we denote this is by denoted by that f of x given y at some time. x at the given y equal to y. So sometimes also we write in this uh, not in this notation we write in this function of y x give uh, probably, uh, the distribution function of x given y equal to y at the point that also we can use. So the argument that the input is small x actually now Eventually, we, we have this uh, result that uh, x given y at the point y, this is just integration minus entry to x, the density function, uh, the density function of x given y equal to y at the point x given y equal to y. Now, you can just write uh, dt if you, uh, you just write, you can write f, f uh, in place of x, you can write t and dt. So, you know, this is. Uh, this integration sum uh, a to x uh, fx dx you can write this as uh, if there's some confusion you can write uh, fd some book out, but this is uh, you can write fx dx also but you can write uh, a to t a to t fx dx okay. you can write just a to x uh, fd or fy dy so uh, more generally you can just uh, Define for uh, more general, uh, more than two variable. Now, this uh, this limit is actually the result is this. This uh, if the distribution function of x equal f at, at x given y is just limit epsilon tends to zero plus. This in denominator. This is integration y minus epsilon to y plus epsilon and for discrete case is just uh, you just write uh, some distribution say f2 of uh, the v, the v, what is that f2 i am just writing f2 after that so, so this is from just say y plus y minus epsilon to y plus epsilon then if u v d v can write x a here f x y right dx DPDU, and this is uh, from minus infinity to n. So, this integration 
and this uh, this f2 is a marginal this f2 y is the marginal where f2 y is the marginal and pdf of y marginal pdf of y. marginal pdf of y so this is just uh, so and this the density of uh, the conditional density the conditional density at x given y equal to y is just the, the joint density divided by the uh, that marginal density you can write f y y also if you think of f y the provided that uh, obviously provided at that point that uh, the density is positive otherwise it is undefined now we, we have some theorem uh, we just uh, without proof we just uh, state the theorem let a be a, let a be the pdf the pdf of a random vector the x comma y to a bivariate of the continuous type say uh, you can write similarly the descriptors uh, in, in place of integration you have to write the, the summation uh, double summation etc continuous type and let f to x f to be the y of the marginal of y be the or you just uh, don't write it just you are just f to f to be, uh, be the marginal of marginal of y uh, marginal of y marginal pd and every point at every point every point x comma y at which this f function is continuous that is that f is continuous And that uh, marginal must be positive, otherwise undefined. And uh, this is also continuous, uh, positive and continuous. So marginal also continuous. It may be so happen that uh, the joint is continuous and the marginal may be discrete or mixed type. But here we assume that the uh, marginal also continuous. So the conditional PDF, uh, the conditional. PDF of x given at y equal to y it exists then it is exist and it, and is expressed by expressed by this formula that uh, sorry this is x given y is equal to that fxy and divided by f2y so this is then you can just generalize this result you can generalize this result for in n dimension also now one is the example is this so we have said uh, consider that uh, x y is jointly distributed this random vector bivariate we jointly distributed with uh, some pdf fold density function what is the fold density function that function is f x y equal to 2 it's constantly 2 uh, when uh, 0 x is less than y and x is positive and y is less than one and zero otherwise and zero otherwise this is the pdf and uh, we know uh, we see in, in the previous uh, lecture that this the uh, marginal for x is just uh, 2 minus 2x and zero when x is lies between the zero and one and otherwise it is zero otherwise and f2 x the joint marginal for the y is uh, 2y for uh, 0 to 1 and otherwise 0. 
so other is so in that case what will be the marginal uh, what will be the conditional distribution in the same example we the conditional uh, so that the conditional pdf y given some x that is y given x is uniform y given x at the point y given x which is that f of x y by f one x so what is this this is just uh, one by one minus x so at at x uh, y is from x to one so x is fixed remember x is fixed y is not fixed the small x is fixed because it is given x so this is uniform basically so it is uh, uniform uniform over uh, on x to one uniform on x to Now, what about this conditional distribution for x given y at the point y? This again one by y. Now again, it is y is fixed, and this is uniform on zero to y. So both are uniform. The marginal is uniform. Now, so you can just calculate some probability, say probability of uh, y greater than equal to half, given x equal to half. Some special case you can. Uh, Take. So it is just half to one because y greater than equal to half, and that uh, conditional distribution is one minus that half, one minus x is half here, and dy you can easily find this is just probability one. And similarly, you can find the probability of x greater than equal to half, and given y equal to half, this is just half. You can easily calculate this, this is half. So this are uh, very small. Is the example for uh, conditional density and distribution. and uh, the next thing is next definition is uh, this so now we, we define a truncated distribution let uh, x be a random variable random variable on that measurable uh, that probability space that sigma skip f uh, or skip s and probability function p And t is some pole uh, in the pole sigma algebra. T is on the pole sigma algebra of function. T is a set on the pole sigma algebra such that zero less than uh, probability of uh, x is positive probability, and which is also less than one, strictly less than one. Then the conditional. Conditional distribution of probability of x greater than equal uh, or less than equal to x. We can just write uh, the density for a distribution function like uh, we always take the distribution function like probability x less than equal to x. That is a distribution function given that x belongs to P, the truncated one. This is a truncated distribution. This distribution is defined is defined uh, for any x belongs to real number. It's called truncated truncated distribution of truncated. Distribution. So this is called the truncated distribution. So there are several examples for truncated distribution. Uh, say for standard normal distribution, we can. Uh, one example is like that. So x is a, is a standard normal distribution. Number is a normal uh, zero one standard. Normal. Uh, we know what is the density function. The density function is one by root two pi. And to the power minus x squared by x is anywhere. So this is the density function of standard normal distribution. And just take that set, truncated set, as just say minus infinity to zero. 
half of the negative interval. Then we know that probability of that x greater than equal less or belongs to t less than equal to zero is just half. And since x is uh, symmetric, uh, the truncated PDF, uh, the truncated PDF. PDF is uh, it is just f of uh, twice f x or minus infinity to zero and zero otherwise zero for x one because uh, it is just truncated at t. Uh, similarly, you can do with that uh, Cauchy uh, thing. Now, next the important part is the independent uh, random variable. For the independent random variable. So, important uh, result is uh, definition is this. So, now uh, we are going to define the independent, independent random or random vector. So, so we say x and y are in two for to a two dimension. We, we just have first define for the two dimension. We say that x and y are independent if and only if that joint density of a distribution function f x y is just the marginal for x and the marginal for y, the product of two marginal. And that should be true for all x, must be true for all x, y in R2. So this is important. Uh, so that should be true for all x, y, not, not for a single x, y. The density function, uh, the, product, the distribution function is the product of the two distribution functions. Similar for the continuous case, density function is the product of the two density functions. Now, one lemma is this, uh, one important result is this. You can easily prove that uh, this uh, result. If x and y are independent, x are independent, and you take some a less than c and b less than d are reals, these four are real, real number are reals, then, then what happens? Then the probability of A, say X lies between A to C and Y lies between B to B to D. It's just the product of these two. So this is true for uh, any interval, it's the product of these two. Now, actually, this uh, more general result is true that the more general result is uh, more general result, more general result is this that if you have two borel set B1 and B2, two borel set uh, in R, then if X belongs to that borel set B1 and Y belongs to the borel set B2, is just a product of the two. Actually, they all are equivalent, actually. This is more general, uh, and sorry, this is y, and these are all are equivalent actually. If you can assume one, you can prove the other. Right? If you can assume it is true for the interval, then you can prove it is true for any world set. So these are uh, left as an exercise, and now for density function, we can go with the density function. So the theorem is this. Important theorem is this. A necessary and sufficient condition for a, a, a necessary and sufficient condition for random vectors or random variables x and y of the discrete type, say, 
the discrete type, discrete type. Uh, both are discrete type to be independent to be independent is that the probability of x equal to x i and y equal to y j for any uh, i and j uh, for any any point that must be equal to probability of x equal to x i into probability of y equal to y and that's really true for uh, for all pair of points that is true for all x i and y j. now for the continuous type whatever this is the discrete type and for the continuous type uh, for continuous type x i continuous type then we have a density x i continuous type are independent if and only if uh, we can write i double f if and only if that that uh, can be that a joint density function is the product of two marginal density and that should be true for all uh, x and r uh, proof again the proof is easy so it is less than an exercise then the important the corollary is this if x let x and y are independent then and the variable then if uh, the density uh, distribution function given y given x is nothing but the uh, the marginal actually for all y and similar uh, is that other x given uh, y this is uh, marginal at x all x is for all all y given for y the important theorem is, uh, is this let uh, x and y are independent and the variables and f and g are to borel measurable function uh, be borel measurable function functions then that fx and gy like say x square and the y cube are also independent are independent and we, the proof is uh, just uh, trivial uh, so the probability of x say f of x Less than equal to x and g of y less than equal to y. This is nothing but equal to the probability of x belongs to f inverse of zero to minus infinity to x close because of the close interval, and y belongs to the, the g inverse. F and g are Borel measurable, so the inverse of the intervals are again some Borel set. So Borel set. So this is uh, since the Borel set is just uh, product of this two, product of this two, product of this x and uh, belongs to f inverse y and y belongs to that f inverse minus infinity x and this f y f inverse is sorry it is g inverse g inverse of minus infinity y. Now we can just uh, rephrase that thing as uh, f of x less than equal to x and into quality of y is uh, f of uh, sorry g of y is less than equal to y. So, so that's for therefore it is independent so, so these are important results uh, and we stop with this independence thing here and in next class we we start with some uh, function of random vectors function of random vectors, not this the transformation of random vectors we, we in previous class we uh, discuss with uh, transformation of a single random variable like distribution of x, then find the distribution of x squared. Here we have to say two, the two uh, random vector x and y. 
and we have we know that what are the distribution of x and y and we want to find say what is the distribution of x of x plus y or what is the distribution of x into y and like that so this is important in the next class we discuss it